Hey everyone, I'm Matt Evans and welcome to Board Game Replay. We've got another special episode for you here today, another one that we shot out at Gen Con 2014. Now this time we had a very special guest join us, Rodney Smith of Watch It Played. He was kind enough to come by our room and sit down and play a game of Sheriff of Nottingham with us. And we've recorded that and we've got it cut up into our usual replay episode and we're going to get to that in just a minute. But before we do that, for those of you who aren't familiar with our show, Board Game Replay is a series we try to capture the experience of playing a board game with a, with a group of friends. And the way we do that is we sit down for a post-game discussion, we talk about the various elements of the game, and during that discussion we're going to cut back to instant replays of moments during the game we found fun or exciting. So you're going to be able to join us in those moments. Now, again, I'm going to get to the video in just a second, but before I do that, for those of you who are not familiar with the rules of this game, it's, it's a pretty straightforward game. I'm going to give you a brief rules overview really quick, and just so you know what's going on for our discussion. But for those of you who actually do know the rules of this game, you're already comfortable, you can actually click this annotation right up here. Jump right to the main video. All right, now Sheriff of Nottingham is a three to five player bluffing, bribing style game where players are gonna take turns being the Sheriff of Nottingham, which is this greedy sheriff that's been appointed by Prince John to basically hassle all the merchants coming into the city, stealing their contraband, basically just trying to get himself more money. But this game is played over a series of rounds and each round the sheriff is gonna to rotate to the next player in clockwise order and all their players are gonna be playing as the merchants for that round, trying to get their goods into the city. And the object of the game is to get the most valuable goods into the city more than any other player. The way you're going to do that, there's two different types of goods. There's legal goods, apples, cheese, bread, and chicken. And then there's contraband, which is like pepper, mead, silk, and crossbows that you're not allowed to bring into the city. You're going to have to sneak them past the sheriff. So the way this is going to work is the merchant players, every round, they're going to have a market phase. where They're basically going to do a little draw and discard. Basically, they end up with six cards in their hand, essentially. And they're going to use those cards to try to bring different goods into the city, whether they're legal or illegal. They're going to choose anywhere from one to five items, and they're going to place them in this little merchant bag here. So I'm going to place four items in here. Once every player has done that, the sheriff is then going to question each player and ask them what they've brought into the city. Now, players can tell the truth about this, or they can lie. The only thing they have to be honest about is the number of items they're bringing into the city, and they have to mention one legal good. So for example, I just put four items into my bag here. I'd have to say, I've got four pieces of cheese, Sheriff, or four chickens, or four apples, even if I have something completely different in my bag. Once all the players have done this, the Sheriff is then gonna start a timer uh, equal to the number of merchants currently in the game. So here, if I was in a three-player game, there's two merchants, we start a timer for two minutes. During that two minutes, the Sheriff is going to try to bribe and blackmail and try to do anything he can to find out what's in those bags, try to read the players, because what the sheriff is really after is he's trying to find you with contraband. Because if he catches you with contraband, if he opens your bag and finds out that you lied about anything, I've got two cheese which I told the truth about, I'm going to be able to keep them here, put them next to my player board, but I've also got two contraband. So this means I just got busted. I have to pay the sheriff now a fine equal to the dollar amount here on the bottom of these cards. So I've got to pay him four for each of these cards. So that sheriff caught me in a lie there. But if I was actually telling the truth, the sheriff actually has to pay me a fine based on all the legal goods I was actually bringing in. Now during this whole phase, while that timer is ticking down, all the players can be wheeling and dealing with each other. They can be bribing the, they can be saying, hey sheriff, I'll pay you five gold, open his bag. And they can be throwing money around at each other. They can be begging the sheriff not to open their bag. They can do whatever they can, play whatever mind games they want to do during this phase. But once that timer is up, the sheriff is all done, and any player who hasn't had their bag open, they get to walk right into the city. And whenever a player gets by into the city, they're going to take all their legal goods that they brought in with them and lay them out in front of their player board here. There's all the different spots for the legal goods. But any contraband that they had actually made it through, they didn't get inspected, that actually goes face down here in front of their player board. So everybody at the table knows that you've lied and brought in illegal goods. They just don't know exactly what illegal goods that you brought in. And that's basically the game. It's just multiple rounds of that with players taking turns as the sheriff until everyone's played the sheriff a certain number of times, uh, depending on the player count, it's a little bit different. Once that happens, we total up all the, the victory point values of all our illegal goods, all our contraband, any other gold that we have remaining. And also there's some bonuses depending on the the player who has the most and the second most of each of the legal goods with some bonus points there. But for the most part, that's the entire game. So that should do it for the rules overview. That should give you a pretty good idea of how things play in this game. With that, why don't we jump into our discussion and you can see how our game went.
so that was it. <laughs> Woo! What are you saying woo for? Oh, I got <laughs> taken to the cleaners. I got yeah. pillaged. Let me pile my money up here. Sorry. Oh, oh man. Right, so whatever you we had have. a bakery over Let there. Let me That's pile right. up my money. It'll Let's take total it up, second. right? You know, guys, it was a friendly game. We don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. Two, four, six, There's a lot eight, of math, man. You're right. Four, I got 20 in apples plus another 20. Your hand doesn't count, right? 40 and 50. I got 90 points. Your hand doesn't count? Well, you had left yeah, in your hand. Four, Is that five, in on six, again? Seven, no. Eight. You got 100 and something. 108. That's ridiculous. 116. Wow. Five. Really? Because he was the king of Chickens? two things. I had the king of the chicken. Uh, I was the king of the apples. Queen of bread. Seven, 20. Sixty-one. <laughs> How good are your mics? How good are your mics? Seven, Pretty nine, good, they're right there. Sixteen hundred and fourteen. Hundred fourteen. But you got it by two. Hundred sixteen. Nailed it. Congratulations, Nailed it. Nailed Nailed it. Nailed it. Wow. Whew, wow. Wow. Yeah. If he didn't, if he didn't take me last time, dude. This Crazy. is that was rotten. That was. <laughs> well, if I didn't take you, and I didn't. Guess on him. You, I hate him. Take him out. I think I would have had it. Yeah, I think you would. Rodney went so hard. Yeah, so early. so hard as the first. Like, and I haven't played with you guys before. I'm thinking, okay, yeah. I, I think these guys got to take advantage of me because I haven't played before. I'm going to call every one of these suckers. Let them know. It's like you know when you get in jail, you punch the guy. <laughs> yeah, you got to make, make you all know. You got to worry about we double tricked you. And you yeah, double tricked me. You were going to think that I was like exactly what you said. Oh man! Right in the eyes. What do you have in that bag? Three chickens. Three chickens. All right, three chickens. I like chicken. All right. <laughs> yes. What have you got, Matt? Uh, th uh, th four, uh, four apples. <laughs> oh, three and four apples. That's the weakest uh, thing. <laughs> Unfortunately, you don't know Matt. <laughs> yeah. How many, Matt? Four. Sorry. Four apples. Sorry about that. I slipped a little bit. Uh, two apples. Two apples. <laughs> Lots of apples going around. Here. Yeah. It's, I have, I have four apples. They're in season. Apple so four consortium. apples, four apples. How many apples? Two. And how many? Three chickens. apples? Chickens. Okay, <laughs> oh, she's sticking to the good, story. Good, good. Stay in with chickens. <laughs> all right, interesting, interesting. I, you know, I want to believe the best of all of you. I'm a, I'm a generous sheriff, but I feel like one of you at this table is lying. <laughs> their teeth at me. That was See, a lot of apples discussed. That was a lot of apples. I think somebody's trying to hide under his hat. Okay, uh, <laughs> listen, I, uh, how many apples was it? It was four. And it was for what? Let's find out. Apples. Snap. We're gonna find out. Oh, find out. Oh, guys, oh like... snap. I see. Uh oh, this is gonna cost me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> this is four apples. Four apples. Oh, how could I do uh, it? How could I do it? My four so, years of acting two. school have paid off. Eight. Eight. <laughs> oh, the sheriff does not like to dip into his wallet <laughs> and pay out for something. Ouch, ouch, ouch. 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 I'll not be trifled with. Don't think just because I was off a little bit here that my radar is any more diminished. Are we, are you sure about the chickens? I feel like it's a weird club Three. 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 Yeah. Three chickens. Don't tell me. I, I mean, what am I going to do? Say there's not? Yeah. You're you might you what, I'll give you a dollar if you look at his instead. Uh, you pay me a little more and I'll look at his instead. What, like two dollars? How about, how about we say, uh, how do you say three? Three and, and I'll look. And I'll let you pass. Well, I'm trying to, um, I don't I mean, that's suspicious enough to you right now. I don't think so. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Let's see what we got <laughs> in the bag. <laughs> Let's see what we got in the bag. I feel like it's going to be one chicken, two, ch three chickens. <laughs> Man, oh, man, you guys are on this. <laughs> I gotta pay him more money. <laughs> All right, now I'm getting a little nervous. You guys might get a pass just because I don't want to lose any more money. I want to. Uh, I'm gonna take. I, I'm not. I'm gonna catch somebody. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna catch you. Are you? Yeah. Are you gonna? Are you gonna offer four, a little? I told you I had no to, way. Uh, you four, drew four, apples, four, apples. four apples. Oh, you're messing. <laughs> <up. laughs> He's totally taking advantage of it. <laughs> Know us very well. I'm taking yours, Jerry. Oh. That fake Sutter That's right there. Is now we're getting through no one lying. Two apples. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna need to make change for crying out loud. You yeah. thought you were gonna punch us in the nose. We and just punched you right back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then everybody, Dog then meat. everyone got dirty. Yes, we did. We did. It got tricky. Super dirty. It got very tricky. <laughs> oh, I found it interesting that I, I had heard about this game. I, I saw your video on it with yeah. uh, with Scott Morris with talks, and you you had talked about. It. It's like, wow, that seems really fun. And I saw kind of the basics of it, but then sitting down to watch, to, to actually play the game, I, I'm starting to realize all the different levels because when you're the sheriff, you have the thought of 
I don't, you know, I don't want to pick on that guy because he's way behind anyway. I don't mm-hmm. care. And then there's the whole thought of how many cards people are saying they have. And yeah, if someone, if someone says they have five apples, yeah. like Jeremy, you were like, I got four, and then I got three, and you're like, no, there's no way there's he's no getting way. this many apples, right? And it can make you seem really sketchy if you say you have a lot of anything. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But then, yeah. Was, but but yeah. even more, no, even more sketchy if you say too little, <laughs> too little. So well, that was the most sketchy. When, I think I think we have a clip of that actually. That <laughs> do a, have something a happened just like that. We can watch it. So I'm 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 gonna open your bag. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna open your bag because I don't care, and I just want to know <laughs> if you want to just move along. And you think Rodney's lying? I'll go Rodney. But I mean, I I you really think that I'm gonna believe that you have four cheese in your bag? You yeah. were able to draw four cheese. Yeah, that's why it I took the pe- piece of pepper so I could get some cheese. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm, I'm going to open your bag. There it is. Do you want a couple? I'll, I mean, I'll stop if you got like I'll, I'll go to Rodney instead because I'm like right on the fence with the both of you. On the fence with both of us. I got two bread in there. Buddy. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'd see that the two is the suspicious part. I feel like you could just put two of anything, and I'm going to think, oh, that's believable because there's two. The card draws what it is. It's going to be one or the other. Who's it going to be, Isaac? I mean, I don't know if he's lying. Well, I'm saying, do you want me to open your bag? I mean, you can do what you want. Why? Are you so, well, if it's if it's just cheese, why don't you just tell him to open your bag then? Yeah, uh, he can open my bag if he wants, but I, uh, I mean, that's up to you. All right, I'm gonna go. All right, fine. I'll open Rodney's bag. Okay. Okay. Now hold. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get a chance. I didn't even get a chance. <laughs> Say, okay, well, maybe I made a mistake about that. Did I play that wrong? Wow, no. Well, you no, you can it. do whatever you That's want. It. If you intended to Screw not. You, you already opened up the bag. <laughs> loaded with contraband. Loaded. Oh, loaded. I saw through your Loaded. <laughs> Sorry to give you a chance to negotiate. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I got ruined. Uh, <laughs> wow. I'm just going to go right to Roddy. Snap. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. I thought. Can I change it back at least? <laughs> Two change, please. And like lightning hands here. <laughs> like, I didn't even. I didn't even have a chance to so like negotiate snap. or anything. So, fine. I'm not gonna open your bag. I was like, snap, Roddy's open. <laughs> oh man, I didn't even. No. I felt terrible about that. Matt, but, Matt, I. Could tell, I could tell. He, he lifted up both bags. What he wanted to do was get money out of me because he wasn't sure because I, I, I sure said too, way yeah, too many, yeah. and he was sure about you because you <laughs> yeah. bet too low. And to be honest, I was, I was, I wanted you to offer me a couple of bucks, and then I was just going to rip it open anyway <laughs> because I wanted to wait for you to offer me money. Now I'm giving my strategy. Yeah, so I was going to wait for you to <laughs> offer no. me like you were guilty, and then rip it open. But you played it stone cold. You played it really, really yeah. well. <laughs> and r- poor Rodney didn't even have a chance to negotiate. I just I feel like you had a chance. But you know, but I netted more money that way, so it's all awesome. that's, that's really where the fun of the game is, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's in that crazy stuff well, that happens and, and like there's a lot of games like this now with like the with the lying to your friends type theme. And there's nothing more fun. The reason those games are all doing so well is because there's nothing more fun than Calling someone out on a lie and being right about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's so good. And so when you snap that, <laughs> yeah, and you just see that yeah, their face. That snap, that, 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 that snap the really snap makes is it. such a tactile element. So yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah, you hear it, and it's like it's done. I want yes. to look back to the designer that came up with the snap they idea. I want to say good job. Yeah. Congratulations. That is, yeah. that, Congratulations. They must have engineered this button because that's a satisfying it's snap. Really yeah, satisfying perfect snap. Perfect sound. It's great. Yeah, and I, I being being able to even play with the flap. I mean, you did it. Yeah, you yeah, did yeah. it. Yeah. You teams, did it well. Right? You're like, like you're, you're playing with the flap. You're like, mm, well, wow. <laughs> wow. And like everybody sees it happening, and then you hear the. <laughs> it's all over. It's, it's done. We're done. Yeah, it's, it's I, I, I'm so I get so satisfied by games with such a simple concept that have that that depth, and it's yeah. not even mechanical depth. It's just like the social depth. Like when yeah, we were yeah. questioning Jeremy, we're like, he's saying he has five. There's no way he's talking yeah. about five. Oh, well, maybe he is. Like, yeah, because yeah, that's yeah. so ridiculous. So Why ridiculous. would we question you? Start, you talk about it long enough, and then you're like, yeah, yeah, oh, you're wow. like, <laughs> yeah. I think that's what makes the game so brilliant. Yeah, yeah I kind of banked. I used that to my advantage the next turn, too, because I went with five, and I actually had it, which was crazy. So they called me on it, and they're like, oh, well, whatever. So next time, they're like, well, I can't call him on it again because he was actually right. And then oh. I got some silk by. So. Yeah, yeah. You did <laughs> get some silk true. by. Oh, man. Well, here, here's the thing, and this is what I, I think about. Well, I think about theme a lot. It's like one of my big things about a game. If I am not intrigued by the theme, yeah. it's it's actually it's actually a killer for me. Mm-hmm. So there's games like you have games like Game of Thrones, and it's so theme heavy. You're 
in it. You are so yeah, in depth. Absolutely. And this is light. It's light on theme, but you have you have an idea. So you you have that idea in your head <laughs> yeah. that you're you are the sheriff. You are the one in charge. And that's really all you need. Your imagination goes wild. It gives you a nice power trip. <laughs> yeah. It makes you feel powerful. Yeah. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah. I like it. it really gets I like you in the mood. Playing you know? with the bag. Give yeah. me the bag. I'm gonna like pretend. I'm Give me that. I don't hear any chickens in there. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. It's funny. Doesn't feel like apples. Doesn't feel like apples. Yeah. It's that light theme that just gives it a touch that makes yeah. your uh, yeah. imagination go wild. It's good stuff. Yeah. Awesome. Good stuff. Yeah, that was it's a quick awesome. game. We should say we didn't play a full game. We we ran it. We were a little short on time, but we. Uh, we yeah, I was we, mounting a comeback. You were. <laughs> but uh, that, that's kind of the game in a nutshell. Yeah. So we we had a shorter game, but I still think we definitely got a good experience yeah. for it. And that's uh, fine. definitely yeah. want to play again. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm ready to play again. We'll have to do it more this this week. And again, uh, yeah. So obviously, we're coming to you special here from Gen Con. We hey, Gen Our Con. very special guest, Rodney Smith, here was. We're honored to have him here over the show. Uh, the yeah, I can master. tell how honored you were. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I feel very dishonored. <laughs> well, I'll also say this will probably be the last time Rodney will ever be uh, joining us on, on our show here. Because we, we invite him on the show. He, he proceeds to have to teach us the entire game. And then they crush me. They absolutely crush me for my trouble. So, Rodney, you're, hey, you're a true gentleman. Uh, we really fun. appreciate you being here. Time. Thank you great so time. much. Thank super you so cool. much. And Jim. Jim is, our, is not uh, usually with us. We're, we're, we're super happy to have you here, man. And he's usually uh, he's from out of town. He's from out of town. From straight from Brooklyn. Yeah. Straight from Brooklyn. <laughs> straight out of Brooklyn. <laughs> Man, if only you were in Compton, that would be straight out of Compton. Awesome. So that's Sheriff of Nottingham by Arcane Wonders. That should give you a pretty good idea how it plays out. A uh, lot of fun if you like bluffing games and lying to your friends. We had a blast. We're ready to play again. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching. We'll catch you again soon. Bye. Bye. See ya. Are you are you sheriffing first? Uh, I'll be sheriff first. Right. Sure. I Thanks think that makes rules. it a little, little bit easier. Thanks for teaching the rules there, by the way. You <laughs> yeah, got to come right. over. Hey, Ron, you want to play some games? <laughs> <laughs> he knew the game. <laughs> well, I was taught by Scott Moore. So he, that guy's sloppy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I so hope. That's, that's a video game. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so hope you watch. Spiked my drink. <laughs> I don't never say that. that. I might have put a couple of bubbles of carbonation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> I declare. <laughs>